All right, let's do some quadratics. Uh, they give us an equation. This equation is in factored form. And they ask for the find the zeros, axis symmetry, and the vertex. You should have, first of all, the zeros. The zeros are what make these brackets go to zero. So what makes this bracket go to zero? It go to zero, negative six. So those are our zeros. Two and negative six will make this equation go to zero. They are our x-intercepts. Now, axis is symmetry. The axis symmetry is right in between the two zeros. So the axis symmetry, also known as h, is equal to, you add these two together and divide them by two to find the middle. That plus negative six over two, so h is equal to uh, negative four divided by two, which is negative two. So that's your axis symmetry. Now, in case they asked, and I should read this sheet again, because I just sort of scribbled some stuff there. They did ask for the equation of the axis of symmetry. The equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 2. Now, they want it written like that because this is the equation of the line. So I have a parabola. I know it opens down. I know my zeros are, say, negative 6 and 2. And now the axis of symmetry tells me that there is a line going up and down. So that's why this is the equation of the axis of symmetry. It's the equation of a vertical line. That's how we define the vertical line, is by x equals negative 2. Don't forget that writing it like that, or you lose half a mark. OK, now, after the zero, and after the axis symmetry, I next am going to find my optimum value. Optimum value is your min or max. Now, in order to do that, I take the x value of the, the axis symmetry that I just found, and I plug it through the equation which will give me the k value. So I'm going to say that k is equal to negative 3 bracket, negative 2 minus 2, and negative 2 plus 6. You plug negative 2 into there, calculate negative 3 minus 4, and that goes to plus 4, and then that is uh, positive 12 times 4 is 48. So the k value is equal to 48. So zeros. Take your two zeros, which is what make the bracket go to 0. Find your axis symmetry, add the two zeros, divide by two, plug the axis symmetry in for your x's, and solve for the y value, which is now your optimum value. And then, vertex is negative 248.